content and we have done the first lecture reading and writing cookies in the second we learned writing a cookie consent banner and in this third lecture we will do the same cookie consent banner but with the help of eye track cons eye tracking consent feature so let us start today's lecture this is the objective of this lecture the same banner the same everything but this time we will use the built-in eye tracking consent feature interface to implement a banner for cookie consent what is eye track consent feature let us have a small introduction to this interface as you can see this is an extract from the msdn documentation and this is a ready-made built-in interface provided by the asp.net core framework the, uh, the name, namespace is microsoft.aspnet core.http.features it is available through this interface let us now understand some of the important properties and some of the methods of this interface I have summarized everything here instance is obtained like this an instance for this interface can be obtained by using http context.features.get eye tracking consent feature this will give me an instance of eye tracking consent feature so that I can call its methods and properties can track is an important property of this interface so how is it used consent feature this instance is available consent feature dot can track this can track property this is true or false and it tells us if consent of the user already exists so if the consent exists then we will show the banner uh, if, uh, then we will not show the banner if the consent doesn't exist then we will show the banner so this is used to check whether the banner should be shown or not after that if you remember the previous tutorial we need a cookie string string the if you remember we had ck name is equal to yes and something like that this string is required to create a cookie through javascript so you can obtain the cookie string the ready-made built-in cookie string for use in javascript like this cookie string is equal to consent feature dot create consent cookie it creates a string like this this is the name of the cookie any value it is given internally by asp.net core an expiry date is set in GMT as per the required format of the cookie and these are also set according to your website so this is how it works you can obtain the interface like this can track is a property that is used to determine whether the banner has to be shown or not and to obtain the cookie string this is the string that you get you can use the method create consent cookie so this is how we do it so create a project and let us start with the startup file the startup file we will make some configuration this is the startup file and this is the configure services method services dot add razor pages this will add support for the razor pages and this is now required for this cookie consent to work for the eye tracking interface to work we will need this code it says configure cookie options cookie policy options options dot check consent cookie needed is equal to true this should be set to true if we want our cookie consent policy if we want our consent to be evaluated to be checked that can can check interface that that can check property this property whether this property can be used for that we need to make a configuration like this and this is your configure services we need a small change here also in your configure method after use routing and before use endpoints you should set app dot use cookie policy this will ensure that the configuration that you have set above it will work if you do not set it then this will not work and your banner you will not be able to show 
after this let us come to the let us add a razor page as usual to the pages folder we will not be required to edit this one because most of the work is already done for us so we will ne need to make changes to the index.cshtml file let us see how we can do that this is your basic plumbing and this is the interface this is the namespace that contains this interface eye tracking consent feature so this is a code block firstly we obtain the interface consent feature after that consent feature dot can track this will help us determine whether the banner is to be shown or not and this will give you the cookie string so we have the cookie string we have this with us after that if show banner then this div is shown the banner and an accept button data hyphen ckie this contains your cookie string that we obtained through the eye tracking consent feature then the same javascript as we explained in the last lecture we obtain the button add a click event listener and set document dot cookie is equal to data set dot ckie which is equal to this one cookie string and it is this string that is stored here and this string will be used to create the cookie the cookie will be created and the banner will be hidden away so this is how it actually works these are the only changes that you will need create an empty project and make these two alterations and your cookie banner will start working so this is much simpler this is a built-in through the asp.net core thank you